Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from Geotech, a concrete, reinforced concrete, sorry, I missed that. Retaining wall is shown below. The friction angle that is found between the wall footing and the underlying soil is 25 degrees. Okay, that's this delta is 25 degrees down here. Find the factor of safety against sliding. So if you're using your civil engineering reference manual, equation 37.57 says that the factor of safety against sliding is your force of, of sliding versus over your horizontal force acting against uh, acting on the wall, pushing the wall. So the first thing we're going to do is find this horizontal force and then we'll find the, the frictional force. First thing I'm going to do is come in here and draw force acting on the retaining wall behaves in a triangle shape and down here your force is Ka which is an active earth pressure coefficient because the soil is pushing on the wall we're going to use Ka times your gamma times H and that is what it is down here at the base now to find what it is the resultant acting a third up you take basically the area of a triangle, which is one half the base, which is Ka gamma h times your height, which is another h. So we're just going to say squared. So that's our R A H. So that's easy to find. Now we also need to find a Ka though, and Ka comes from equation 37.6, which says that Ka is equal to tangent squared of 45 minus V over 2. Okay, so if you plug in phi, which is given here as 34 degrees, I get 0 0.283. So now we know Ka. So to find our H, we're going to use 1 half Ka, which is 0 0.283, times gamma, which is given as 125, PCF times your height, which is given as 20 feet squared. And that gives me 70, 75. And that's in pounds. Okay, so we got the horizontal force. Next thing we need to get is the uh, force sliding, so the frictional force here. And to get that, we need to find out the weights acting vertically. So I'm just going to draw these in here. Each of these pieces is dimensioned out already so we're trying to make that easy to find. We've got weight 1, weight 2, weight 3, and we also need to account for the weight above the retaining wall. So we got another weight here, that's weight 4. So let's go ahead and figure out what those are. Weight 1. Well, because we were given this as a concrete retaining wall, we know that the uh, density of the concrete is 150 PCF. That's just something you should know uh, for concrete. So we need to take that 150 PCF times 4 times by 3, which is the dimensions right here of this little square. Okay and that gives me 1800 W2 is taking the next one which is 150 times 1 times 17 feet well sorry 20 feet 20 feet bottom to top we're not subtracting that little 3 feet chunk that's 3000 weight 3 it's going to be a 6 foot by 3 foot by 150 PCF is 2700 and W of the soil or W4 is going to be 125 times 6 times 17 
that gives me one two seven five zero so let's add all those up adding all those up I get twenty two fifty okay so that's the total weight acting downward and I guess if you looked at the units this would be uh, pounds LBs per foot but if you multiply it by just one foot thickness it's just pounds and that's what we're getting that's what we have here pounds okay so we're not done with this now we were given this um, underlying I guess friction angle on the between the soil and the retaining wall and we need to account for that so let's take the weight of the soil and the concrete times it by the tangent of that angle so that's 2250 tangent of 25 degrees that gives me 9442.73 and that is our uh, RSL forces sliding okay so now we can find the factor of safety now that we got everything which is equal to 9442.73 divided by 7075 and that comes out to be 1.33 which is answer A so this was kind of a, a simple and fun equation and question for solving uh, for the factor of safety against sliding and we'll be solving a lot more of these type of retaining wall problems in the future so I hope you enjoyed this head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks related to the PE exam thanks bye